Hello, thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles. This is the Foundation for Inner Peace, 3rd edition. Today we are reading paragraphs 1 through 6 in Section 3, Littleness versus Magnitude, in Chapter 15, The Holy Instant. Be not content with littleness, but be sure you understand what littleness is and why you could never be content with it. Littleness is the offering you give yourself. You offer this in place of magnitude and you accept it. Everything in this world is little because it is a world made out of littleness in this strange belief that littleness can content you. When you strive for anything in this world in the belief that it will bring you peace, you are belittling yourself and blinding yourself to glory. Littleness and glory are the choices open to your striving and your vigilance. You will always choose one at the expense of the other. Yet what you do not realize each time you choose is that your choice is your evaluation of yourself. Choose littleness and you will not have peace for you will have judged yourself unworthy of it. And whatever you offer as a substitute is much too poor a gift to satisfy you. It is essential that you accept that fact and accept it gladly that there is no form of littleness that can ever content you. You are free to try as many as you wish, but all you will be doing is to delay your homecoming. For you will be content only in magnitude, which is your home. There is a deep responsibility you owe yourself and one you must learn to remember all the time. The lesson may seem hard at first, but you will learn to love it when you realize that it is true and it is but a tribute to your power. You who have sought and found littleness, remember this. Every decision you make stems from what you think you are and represents the value that you put upon yourself. Believe the little can content you and by limiting yourself, you will not be satisfied. For your function is not little and it is only by finding your function and fulfilling it that you can escape from littleness. There is no doubt about what your function is, for the Holy Spirit knows what it is. There is no doubt about its magnitude, for it reaches you through Him from magnitude. You do not have to strive for it, because you have it. All your striving must be directed against littleness, for it does not require vigilance to protect your magnitude in this world. To hold your magnitude in perfect awareness in a world of littleness is a task the little cannot undertake. Yet it is asked of you in tribute to your magnitude and not your littleness. Nor is it asked of you alone. The power of God will support every effort you make on behalf of his dear son. Search for the little and you deny yourself his power. God is not willing that his son be content with less than everything, for he is not content without his son, and his son cannot be content with less than his father has given him. I asked you earlier, would you be hostage to the ego or host to God? Let this question be asked you by the Holy Spirit every time you make a decision. For every decision you make does answer this and invite sorrow or joy accordingly. When God gave himself to you in your creation, he established you as host to him forever. He has not left you and you have not left him. All your attempts to deny his magnitude and make his son hostage to the ego cannot make little whom God has joined with him. Every decision you make is for heaven or for hell and brings you the awareness of what you decided for. The Holy Spirit can hold your magnitude, clean all of littleness, 
clearly and in perfect safety in your mind, untouched by every little gift the world of littleness would offer you. But for this, you cannot side against him in what he wills for you. Decide for God through him, for littleness and the belief that you can be content with littleness are decisions you make about yourself. The power and glory that lie in you from God are for all who, like you, perceive themselves as little and believe that littleness can be blown up into a sense of magnitude that can content them. Neither give littleness nor accept it. All honor is due the host of God. Your littleness deceives you, but your magnitude is of him who dwells in you and in whom you dwell. Touch no one then with littleness in the name of Christ, eternal host, unto his Father. I love you. Thank you so much for joining with me. We will pick up paragraphs 7 through 12 tomorrow.